The limit is x approaching to 2, square root of 6 minus x minus 2 on the top, over square root of 3 minus x minus 1 on the bottom. Notice that here we have two square root situations, and the way that we are going to do it is, as usual, we are going to use the conjugate. However, because there are two parts, we are going to use the conjugate twice. Let's take care of the top first, namely this part. Looking at this, and we are going to multiply the top by the conjugate, which is square root of 6 minus x, I will change the minus to plus, and then we have the 2 right here. And I will multiply that on the denominator as well. And the purpose for that is to fix the top. So let me write this down first. And what we are going to do is multiply on the top and leave the denominator the same. Here we are going to get the limit when x is approaching to 2. On the denominator, because I didn't want to fix that, the conjugate was only for the top. Let's leave the denominator the same. So I will just copy this down. Square root of 3 minus x minus 1 times square root of 6 minus x plus 2. On the top, this is in the form of a minus b times a plus b. In another word, we have a square minus b square. The first thing square, we just have 6 minus x. And then we're going to subtract the second part square, namely 2 square, which is 1. And let's take a look of the numerator. We have 6 minus x minus 4. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. We can subtract that. In another word, we have 2 minus x. And now let's take a look. If you plug in 2 into all the x, you are still going to get 0 over 0. Okay. We cannot fix that square root at the first place. We haven't done anything with this square root, right? So now what we are going to do is multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of this part. Focus on this and take the conjugate of that, which is square root of 3 minus x and then plus 1. And I will do the same on the top. Square root of 3 minus x plus 1, like that. And perhaps I'll put this in the parentheses. And now what we are going to get is still the limit as x approaching to 2. On the top, because I'm not trying to fix that part, this conjugate was for that. So leave it as how it is and wait for cosine to happen. 2 minus x times square root of 3 minus x plus 1. And we are going to focus on this 2 multiplication. If you would like, you can write this down first. I think I'll do that. Square root of 6 minus x plus 2. And now we are going to multiply out this and that because the conjugate was to fix that. Okay. A minus b times a plus b. In another word, we have that square, which is just 3 minus x minus the second thing square, which is 1. Minus 1. 1 square is 1. And if you focus on this part, 3 minus x minus 1, which is 2 minus x. And guess what? As I told you, good things usually happen, and most of the time it will happen. 2 minus x and 2 minus x cancel each other out. Something on the top cancels something on the bottom, and you know you're on the right track. Final touch, plugging the 2 into all the remaining x. So we are going to get square root of 3 minus x is 2, and then plus 1, over square root of 6 minus the x, which is 2, plus 2. And do the usual computation. On the top, 3 minus 2 is 1, square root of 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, over. On the bottom, 6 minus 2 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 2 over 4. Of course, you never leave this in calculus class, this is 1. Ah, for the answer.